the United States stabbed Patrice Lumumba in the back. On July 27, 1960, Lumumba met with the U.S. Secretary of State, Christine Hatter. It was a cordial meeting, seemingly so, and it gave Lumumba hope. Lumumba was accompanied by these three gentlemen from his government. Lumumba expressed hope that the U.S. would stand on the right side of history and help Congo. Congo needs peace to attract foreign investment, he declared. He then looked the Secretary of State in the eye and calmly explained to him how the United States was sabotaging peace in Congo. The United States, which supposedly stands for liberty and independence, is supporting Belgium's continued occupation of Congo. Lumumba said and wondered why the U.S. was supporting the presence of the Belgian army in Congo. Lumumba, a fearless leader that he was, then fired a warning that shook the U.S. to the core. If the United States doesn't help us, we will appeal for help from the United Nations, the Soviet Union, or any other country that will help us. He further warned that Congo wouldn't accept any conditional support. Do you know what the U.S. then offered Congo? 300 scholarships. That's right, 300 scholarships. But behind the scenes, they began orchestrating events that led to his assassination. Dwight Eisenhower was U.S.'s president during the three months that Lumumba ruled Congo. He refused to meet Lumumba, claiming that the young African leader was already in the Soviet's corner.